this is about a phenomenon that I believe hasn't occurred just to me, and I have found out has occurred to other another YouTuber, but with some differences and some similarities. But I shan't go into too much detail because I'm limited for time here. Um, in 19, I was born here in Britain first to give you an idea, a little bit of history first. I was born here in Britain in 1963. Um, in 1966, my dad was in the Air Force and he got stationed to Orlando, Florida, where we, he was issued a, a bungalow for me, my brother, and my mum, and of course himself, on McCoy Air Force Base. Our bedroom was opposite my parents' bedroom, and there was a hall, you know, obviously with the hall, and then the hall led into the front room. There was like another like little foyer which led to the front door, and there was a side door and a back door. I can remember the place vividly as if it were yesterday. Anyway, I was woke up because this, because the light. Because my dad, would, my parents would keep the bed, our bedroom door cracked open so they could listen out for us kids. Anyway, I was woke up because there was a light on in the front room. And what my parents used to do would make me a hot drink, um, more milk to be precise, to take to bed with me. So I got up thinking my parents were up. And I got out of bed. And I made my way into the front room, which was hardly any distance. And to my surprise, there was this woman and this child sitting in. Because my, my parents had ranch-style furniture at the time. I don't know if anyone can recall it. Um, there, there were two chairs and a settee. And um, there were wooden frames. Um, they weren't very big, thick frames. It was nice sweet, I have to admit. If I could find another sweet like that, I'd have one in a heartbeat. But anyway, the, the man was sitting in the, on the settee, and the woman and the child were in one of the chairs, and the child was on her lap. The man was dark, and he had dark features, but the woman and the child were pale, had long blonde hair, and they were wearing like sh white chiffon type material. But then at four years old, you know, I didn't, I didn't associate, I didn't have any of those kind of word associations to describe them. I just knew what I saw. So anyway, I, 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 I remember going, I, my focus was on the woman and the little girl because couldn't understand why the little girl was up, and um, they knew my name, that's what surprised me, because I didn't know who these people were, never seen them, and um, they said, Rachel, go back to bed, we're waiting for your dad, and they were very insistent, especially this mother figure, she was very insistent, but it was, wasn't was said um, nastily, it was said lovingly, and um, anyway, I got upset as any child would, they, because I couldn't understand. How come I had to go back to bed and this other girl my age could stay up what? Well, obviously I put on one of my little tizzies. <laughs> you know, four-year-olds do that. And um, that woke my dad up. Well, as my dad, next thing I remember is my dad was staying in the hallway with the whole light behind him, and all of a sudden the front room was thrust to into darkness. Well, I told my dad what I had seen, and he obviously just patted my head and said, and picked me up and said, "No, oh, you you must have been dreaming." He carried me back into bed and um, said, uh, "You know, he basically it was put down to my imagination, a dream." What surprised me is I got um, a message from a friend or a subscriber, I'm, I'm not going to give their details, um, but basically they had something similar and again um, they were seeing solid beings and um, they were about the same age 
that I was, and they saw them in twos and threes, and the their fam their parents didn't see them. So um, I'm wondering if any of you may have had something similar. Also, um, getting to apparitions, yes, I have seen apparitions since that time, but. The thing is, that experience I had as a child, I have had a plethora of experiences with the paranormal since that time. So I also want to know if anyone who's had similar experiences, if they have also found themselves having um, more um, experiences with the paranormal as they've grown up. Um, now getting back to apparitions here. Um, I have actually seen an apparition of a monk where I used to live in uh, San Tony, which is out in the county. Um, I have seen, since I've lived here, I've seen an apparition of a little girl, um, which my reaction to her was motherly because, you know, <laughs> you just don't, it, 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 I couldn't, I don't know why, but I just didn't react to her. Um, I, I wasn't fearful of her. Um, matter of fact, I, I just asked her what she wanted, and she never said, and after the second time I asked her, she disappeared. Then I saw um, an apparition, but I couldn't make out the features. I could make out certain things, like the hair and that, and it said something about death, and I went to touch it, and it and it vanished and she found out someone I knew shortly after I saw the apparition had died so um, I don't know that was connect if that that was um, what you call it um, that I don't know if that was the person who had passed away coming to me and said they died but um, that one was just slightly unnerving because it was said death, and I didn't know whose death it was referring to, but the thing that was unnerving about it was I couldn't see the face. I could see the, the coat, and it was a strange thing. I could make out the coat, and I could see the hand, I could see the hair, but I couldn't see the face, and when I went to touch it, when I reached out to touch it, it um, the apparition disappeared. Um, but yeah, it, 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 phenomena that happened when I was four, though, that, that's the one that really interests me, and I just wonder if anyone else, um, besides me and this other individual, and, um, I'm looking forward to hearing your views are on it. I don't want anything, um, nasty or rude or sarcastic. I just want people to be honest and truthful and so that way we can determine if what kind of phenomena it is. And it seems strange that it seems that it's occurring around a certain time frame in a, in, your, in a person's life. And also want to know if having had that experience, if you've had, like me, a plethora of experiences of, with the paranormal, and how you try to fit into the context of your life and how it's affected you. I'll leave this with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah.